Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am uh, cooking enchiladas, proper enchiladas. This time I'm making it the mix and actual enchiladas. So I am using my brand new tripod. Which I'm just going to put a bit higher up. Not that high. About that high. About that high. There. So what you I'm going to turn turn the camera around to show you what the ingredients you will need to show you all the ingredients you will need. Okay. Just adjusting stuff. Okay, so I need that. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, so what you need is a frying pan or a wok. I'm using a wok. You can make rice if you want to. You will need you'll need a cutting knife like this, sharp one, sharpish. You will need a cutting board. Like uh, this one, you'll need some kind of oil or non stick stuff. So I have fry light here, not spotted. You'll need hot chili powder, it doesn't have to be hot chili, can just be chili powder, paprika, the paprika there. Garlic salt, cumin, anything else with that? No. Then you'll need passata, tomato passata. You can make rice if you want. Uh, I'm using chickpeas for this one. I'm using chickpeas. Uh, you can use like chicken and stuff. Uh, I'm just vegetarian. Uh, where is the tomato? <clears throat> so I just need to find tomato. Chopped tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, no, I don't have them. Oh, I think those. There, so, uh, yeah, uh, I use one can of chopped tomatoes. Just gonna put everything back where it is, otherwise my mum will get um, kind of mad. <sighs> Bulk. Uh, let's just shove the duck up here. Upside down, don't mind. Oh, what else will we need? We will need. Thank you. 
we will need tomatoes. These are pre-chopped tomatoes. Slash, slash, no, mushrooms, those are mushrooms. Uh, we will need an onion. Just any old onion will do. And then pepper. Any pepper. Now, let's get started. We, the first thing we need to do is we need to, we need to, I'm just adjusting my tripod, because why not? Yes, you need to spray or pour whatever you use into the pan. I like to do it around the sides because there's a lot of mix. So that's mostly what you need. Oh, there's also some other stuff you will need. I'll just quickly show you. You'll need tortilla wraps. Uh, this recipe does make eight tortillas with slightly more mix. And you'll need something to cook them in, which I'm just trying to find. But the my cupboard that they're in is full. like this so I do like to spray them so now it's time to cut stuff so let's take you over here where we will cut everything Onion. No, that's pepper. Okay, so there are a few green bits on there. Right here and here. I'm going to cut them off when I'm cutting. There's weird stuff, so I'm just going to rinse this. You should probably rinse it anyway. Alright, let's chop it there. You can see this, yes. My tripod is making it easier for me to record videos for you guys. IRL in real life. Makes it super easy to just record any video I need to do. Need or want to do. Ooh. Definite pepper smell now. Now, this should just go in the bin. Now, I'm just going to cut off all the non-red bits, all the non-coloured, correct colour bits. That's, that's fine, that's fine, that should be fine, and that should be fine. It's only this part here that that's not coloured. Why is there a time limit? Now, 
uh, my camera just started, decided to not, to, my phone just started, decided to not record this bit. So, uh, not to start recording. So this is going to just be edited together, so sorry for the, me, the, whatever watermark there is. Because I am not paying for some just super stupid editing software that I literally only am going to use to put videos together. Just put a load of videos in one. So just cutting this stuff. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I wonder why there's a time limit set for my videos on my f to record videos on my phone. It's just annoying because then I'll have to then I have to edit it together and it takes ages to export. I've stopped using Kylie Master because it took too long to export one video, one six. I think it's nine minutes, six minute, nine minute video. The captions on all my videos are terrible because I never make my own captions. It doesn't do anything correct. Done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There. Now this can just go straight into the pan. Oh, we've got to show it's in the pan. Now, for the onion. This is the painful part. I would get somebody else to do it, but I can't be bothered. I'm gonna time lapse the cooking of the actual enchilada of the tortillas. As you can see, I'm struggling to do do, do the bag thing. I've got this weird shaped onion, which I can now start to cut. So first of all, let's put this in, this stuff in the bin. Then, cut off both ends of the oven, of the onion. So, that bottom end and the top end. Oh, onion. Onion is painful to cut. Yeah, it's really painful. I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, I'll just pause the video for a moment. I'm back. Yeah. So rolling again. I'm just peeling this onion. Just peeling an onion. That's simply all I'm doing. This whole YouTube channel started in Edim in Scotland. Don't live in Scotland though. Live in England. And by the way, I do not live in near or in Dumbledale. I live somewhere else to Dumbledale. And it's not actually that close to where, where I live to Dumbledale. So they don't just come to Dumbledale and start harassing me. I only get to Dumbledale because it's my local station. I can't be bothered to go to Shepley. So there's the onion here, I'm just going to place that there. Can't see me good. Oh, my eyes, my eyes. I'm going to 
turn the fan on. And let's start cutting this in. Cut. 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 All my eyes. Ooh. Note to self, try not to cut self. Falling in to Edinburgh, way below even though I'm not near Edinburgh, I'm about a hundred miles away. Don't mean in the. Anyway, I'm disabling comments now, from now on. Uh, just until I grow a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm disabling comments on all, all my existing and new videos. Uh, because why not? I'm doing it until my channel gets bigger. So now that's all the cutting I've got to do here. I now can move you guys over to here. Where I'm going to put some pre chopped mushrooms in. Actually, I'm just going to cut some of the big ones in half. doing a model railway video for age for a while a long long time wooden spoon Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am uh, making proper enchiladas. Yes, proper enchiladas. Uh, gonna make chickpea enchiladas this time. 
because why not? So, last time I didn't show you how to actually make proper enchiladas, I just showed you how to make enchilada mix with rice. So today I'm going to make show you how to make enchiladas. My camera was just weirding out. I don't know why it's doing that for some reason. Just focus on there. I'm going to have to mess with the set. I don't know why it's doing that. No. Just mix everything in. Just mixing everything up. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just letting it so I'm just letting it boil off. All the steam stuff. It'll take a while. Because this is very watery. So I'm going to start a time lapse. I'm going to start a time lapse of me doing everything else you need to do. So this is most of the important stuff. So let's start the time lapse. The finished product. Nice, cheesy enchiladas. Crispy on the ends and on top. Sizzling. Anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to end the video. So goodbye everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!